Hello everyone, this is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. I'm here to talk about crypto dividends, forks of Bitcoin. Many of you have heard about the recent forks of Bitcoin, Bcash and Bgold. You probably receive them if you control your own private key. And I highly recommend that you keep your Bitcoin on a Trezor, which is a hardware storage device that you can purchase. If you control your private key, you can easily get your free Bitcoin fork, or as some call it, a crypto dividend. One should treat their Bitcoin as a savings account and thus keep it in a very safe place. Now, that say, like traditional savings accounts, when Bitcoin produces interest and that interest is these forks, are these forks, excuse me. Anyway, once you receive the forks, the fork coins, you have the option to either keep them or to sell them. Now, many people love crypto dividends because they can turn their free coins into more Bitcoin, which I encourage. Now, there's another benefit of crypto dividends. Many people are complaining about the high transfer fees of Bitcoin. People, not everyone, keeps their Bitcoin as a savings account. Some people actually want to spend their Bitcoin. Now, how many people actually want to spend their Bitcoin? Who really knows? But there is a vocal group of people that say, oh, transaction fees are too high. We can't use our Bitcoin to purchase coffee. Well, guess what? If you treat your Bitcoin as a savings account, control your own private key, you don't keep it on the exchange, you get these free crypto dividends. These crypto dividends you can then spend. Yes, you can just, if let's say you, uh, you owe someone some value and you need to send them some cryptocurrency to compensate them. They live in California, you live in Maryland. All right, all you do is, oh look, I had one Bitcoin at my Trezor on August the 1st. Now I also have this one Bcash. I will just send them the Bcash as compensation. Or you could say, oh look, on October 1st, I had Bitcoin and thus now I have one B gold. I will just send them B gold. Now, maybe your friend won't accept one of these crypto dividends. Who knows? Well, you can just go to the exchange and sell your crypto dividend for Bitcoin then and deal with the high, the, the, the high exchange rate or or, excuse me, the high transaction fee, or the easier solution, the cheaper solution, is to just turn it into Litecoin at that point. Yes, turn your crypto dividend into Litecoin, send it, and voila, you don't have to pay a high transaction fee, your friend or business is compensated, and everyone is pleased. Now, again, you will, if you need to change your crypto dividend, into Litecoin. You will do this at an exchange. There are tr many trusted exchanges out there and not so trusted exchanges out there that will handle your crypto dividend, friendly fork, whatever you want to call it, altcoin that you get. So I say this, bring on B Diamond and Super BTC and all the other crypto dividends. Use them to get more Bitcoin or use them to compensate people 
instead of paying high Bitcoin transaction fees. Again, you can avoid high Bitcoin transaction fees if you use SegWit and the person you're compensating also uses SegWit. But that's not always the case. So you have options. Crypto dividends give people options and they should cut down on all the yelling and complaining about the high Bitcoin transaction fees because you're getting a free coin that's worth something that can be used in daily transactions. So I'm Adam Meister. You can find me at DisruptMeister.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, pound that like button right now. Check out the link section below. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.